now. Yeah. There's a paper sack right here. I don't know where it came from. It's entirely possible it could have been a person that came over here and got this stuff. I don't know why it would do that. I mean, a person could have come over here just to mess with my head, perhaps. It's entirely possible. Right now, it's just circumstantial. It's just circumstantial that a Sasquatch might have come and gotten that stuff. It's circumstantial at this point. I don't know absolutely for sure. I can't say for sure. Absolutely, yes, a Sasquatch did it. paper sack was not here when I was here the other night so something or somebody was probably so I think somebody's been over here and they might have just taken that stuff yeah I'm not, I'm not ruling out the people I'm not ruling out the person came over here and got that stuff. Now right about over in there was where I heard those footsteps the other night. Right over in there. Heard those bipedal footfalls. Would be kind of hard to hide over there in the daylight. Oh, that's a big bird. What size of that bird? Look at that. That is a big bird. I'll be a hawk. One thing I can say is that somebody or something got that got those food items off that sewer grate. I don't know who, I don't know what. And I'm not gonna say absolutely that a Sasquatch did it based on this circumstantial evidence that I found of a paper sack which was not here when I was here the other night. So it's entirely possible a person or persons may have come over here I think I would have noticed a paper sack if, if, if I'd been over here. So again, it's just circumstantial evidence that a Sasquatch did it. Circumstantial, that's about all. I don't have any absolute proof. Like I said, it's possible a human could have done it too. Based on the paper sack I found. But yeah, it was right over in there where I heard those footfalls the other night. Those bipedal footsteps. And you know, I could have shined a light over there, but... <laughs> You know, Ron Moorhead says he shone a light. The, the party, that's, the party's pretty much over after that. Or it's a guaranteed showstopper. That's what he said. He said it was a guaranteed showstopper. So, I did not shine a light. I mean, that, that does look kind of thick over in there. 
you know, a Sasquatch could hang out over there and could come down this way and go over in here. Looks like a couple of slip slide marks over there. Look. You can see that one right there. Looks like something right over there. Looks like something tried to go up, go up or go down that little uh, embankment. There's another slide mark right there. A couple of slide marks. Right there and right there. Which I don't, oh, if I don't break my ankle. Weird thing is they just end right there. That's kind of strange. Looks like there's something... Looks like there's some kind of a, a mark right there. Some kind of a, a depression or something. I can't really tell what it is. And you know, I'm just speculating. You know, I'm not saying yes, the Sasquatch hangs out over here. There's a possibility, yes, but you know, I'm not I'm not gonna say for sure that it's absolute. I mean humans could probably come over here at night. As well, you know. I'm just saying. Those slide marks are rather interesting though. Whatever made them, I don't know what made them. I have no idea. I mean, they look pretty big, but if you got a slide mark, it's going to look big because whatever is whatever made it is sliding. It's either sliding down the hill, or, or, or it was it may have skidded trying to go up the uh, embankment. So, I don't know.